what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Three family members are charged with being part of a mob who attacked a teenage Chili's hostess and ripped her hat after she told them that they could not sit together because of COVID restrictions. 48-year-old Tammy Dabney was charged with aggravated second-degree battery. Rodnika Dabney, 27, and Erica Dabney, 46, were charged with disturbing the peace and simple battery. All three are charged with attacking 17-year-old Kelsey Wallace, a young hostess at Chili's in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, because she would not let a group of 11 women sit together. Per her boss and restaurant policy. This ain't something she just wanted to do. This is her doing her job. The restaurant has a policy where they're not allowing large groups of people to be seated together at eateries during the COVID pandemic. Kelsey had to go to the hospital to get stitches because she said one of the women picked up a wet floor sign and hit her in the head with it. She also had a patch of hair ripped out of her head. These, what are we gonna call them? Hold on, what are we gonna call them? Uncivilized mutts have zero house training. This is what's wrong with America, fam. There are too many people who feel that they don't have to follow the rules. And if someone tries to enforce the rules, they absolutely lose it. It doesn't matter the degree of education, how much money. Somebody said once, you can go to school, but you can't buy class. This is what they're talking about. Kelsey quit her job at Chili's and she says she will not be returning. I can't blame her. You work at those type of public establishments, ain't no telling what the wind gonna blow in. These things attack that young girl because she would not allow them to sit at a damn table together. These fools are family members. They probably hang out together all the time. Go home and eat. Get the food to go. Come back when the pandemic is over. Go to another restaurant who don't care about following the rules. They had options. They did not have to go to jail. They didn't have to be arrested. They could have easily just adhered to the rules, like I did. I took a group of my family members, 26, out to eat last week. They told us we could not all sit together. We all had just come from a place where we were together. They said, you can't sit together. So we spread it out in the restaurant, 10 at one table, four at this boot, four at that boot, space in between, we're scattered all over the place. But it worked out. They told us we could not get up and visit other tables and stuff. They didn't want to see us for that purpose, but had to pull a few strings to you know, make it happen. But they went ahead and, and did it. And they allowed us to sit there and we all sat there like we had some sense. And we accepted it. When you go into somebody's house and they tell you what the rules are, you have to follow the rules or you're probably going to find yourself uninvited, right? That's how I go in your house, right? Because that's how it goes in mine. 
Nobody can just come into your house and change the rules, right? Well, it's the same thing when you visit these public places. Some people think because it's a public place, they can just go in and own the place and do what they want to do, especially if they're paying money. It's almost like how people come on the internet. They think they can come on your platform and talk all kinds of shit just because it's a public platform. They forget that although it's a public platform, it's your platform. It's your rules. <laughs> I think this is mainly Americans because I really don't see a lot of other people acting like this. And I visit a lot of other platforms. I check out a lot of uh, chat rooms and I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I'm, I'm reading comments. And a lot of times I don't even respond to this stuff, but I'm, I'm, I'm peeping. I'm trying to check the pulse of, of what people are saying and how they're feeling about certain issues. These three. They all have the same last name. So the blood is thick. I don't know who brought them into the world. Uh, however they got here. Their mama should be embarrassed and their daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the talking about.